But we do need to remind ourselves that so many of the disparities that exist between the African American community and the larger American community today can be traced directly to inequalities passed on from an earlier generation that suffered under the brutal legacy of slavery and Jim Crow. Today was no fun day for Elizabeth Eckford. Everybody, these white people were pushing her and beating her up and spitting on her and cursing at her. I feel bad for her. Because I know if there was only one of me and thousands of them, I sure wouldn't be there now. It's just a normal school day. She goes to school and she's bam, being chased by everybody. I feel sad. Now she's scared out of her mind, have nothing, know what to do, no clue. I know what she's thinking right now. You wanna hear what she's thinking? This is what she's thinking. I hope these white people don't kill me. All these people troubled Elizabeth Eckford. You heard what she was thinking. She don't want them to kill her. Kill her, actually. I know why. As governor of this fine state of Arkansas, we will not have integration today. Sorry, can't let you in. As President of the United States and Head of the National Guard, I declare that these nine children must be in school. The President said, I can let you in. This is our chance to answer that call. This is our moment. This is our time to put our people back to work and open doors of opportunity for our kids, to restore prosperity and promote the cause of peace, to reclaim the American dream and reaffirm that fundamental truth that out of many we are one, that while we breathe we hope, and where we are met with cynicism and doubt and those who tell us that we can't, we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America.